one of the most mysterious and intelligent characters in the Game of Thrones universe, without a doubt, is Varys. A character who went from being a slave to becoming one of the most important advisors serving several kings in Westeros. But Varys was not only a good advisor of the rumors, but he was also chosen by the Lord of Light to fulfill a purpose. There are different theories about this character, from a supernatural origin to a lost child of Targaryen lineage. In this video, we are going to try to untangle the webs of the spider and try to understand Varys' true plan. Stay tuned for this video. The Mystery of Varys. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. And if you want to participate in our new giveaway, where we will be raffling off the Game of Thrones book collection, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment on which character in the Game of Thrones universe is the most important, and why. The winner will be revealed this coming February 1st. Varys' story begins similarly to Melisandre's story. He was a child slave in the city of Lys, located in the continent of Essos. He was sold to a blood mage, who often serves the Lord of Light, and commits unimaginable acts to gain more power. Just as Melisandre sacrificed Shireen, other sorcerers made sacrifices to acquire power or obtain the Lord of Light's favor. Such was the case with the person who bought Varys. This man mutilated Varys, causing him to become a eunuch, meaning he has no reproductive parts in his body. During this ritual, the sorcerer took Varys' parts and threw them into the fire, and the fire turned blue. Although Varys was a child, he could hear a voice coming out of the fire. From that moment on, Varys hates magic and sought revenge on the man who had done that to him. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, nothing to dull my senses. He burned my parts in a brazier, and he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. I still dream of that night. I dream of the voice from the flames. The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. Was it a god? A conjurer's trick? A demon? I don't know. But the sorcerer called, and a voice answered. And ever since that day, I have hated magic and all those who practice it. Sorcerer. <laughs> However, this dramatic event in his life led Varys to become one of the most dangerous people in the Seven Kingdoms. As he would never have a wife and children, so he dedicated his time to fulfill his mission. And what was this mission? According to Varys, to bring peace to Westeros. Though of course, many of his actions lead us to believe that Varys actually wished to become king himself. Before delving into the web, we must talk about a theory which proposes that Varys was really a Targaryen. Although at first instance we could say this is absurd, however when we see several clues left by the series, we could understand that there is something else going on with this character. The first thing is that fire wizards can perceive the power in people's lineage, as it was in the case of Melisandre who took Gendry after perceiving that there was king's blood inside him. Get away! Why are you doing this? I told you there's power in the blood of king, and you have so much blood. Therefore, the fact that the blood wizard chose Varys is the first clue that Varys could be the lost son of some important person. Some have theorized that he could be the bastard son of some Targaryen who was exiled to Essos. But aside from the clue about the magic ritual, is there anything else that leads us to think that Varys was really a Targaryen? Another clue that many attributes that Varys could be hiding his identity, is the fact that Varys shaves his hair. Perhaps to hide that he would have blonde hair like Targaryen, or silver like Valyrian. Another important point is in his name, Varys is similar to the names used by the Targaryen, such as Viserys or Ares. However, speculations about the origin of Varys in the Game of Thrones series were never resolved and we are left with many unknowns. 
Varys lost his life after he revealed the truth about Jon Snow, and conspired against Daenerys. Tricaris. But then, what was the spider's purpose? What is its connection to the Lord of Light? In previous videos, we mentioned how Melisandre warned Varys' fate was to lose his life away from home. I would only be a distraction if I stayed. So where will you go? Volantis. Good. I don't think you should return to Westeros. I'm not sure you'd be safe here. I will return, dear spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. It would seem that Vera's purpose was to cause the conflict between Daenerys and Jon. Just as characters like Beric, Yora, or Daenerys herself, they were pawns of the Lord of Light to fulfill his purpose. In the case of Varys, his purpose was to sow in Jon and Tyrion, the idea of Daenerys' dangerousness. Something that would eventually lead Jon to end Daenerys' life. Also, Varys warned different people in the Seven Kingdoms about the origin of Jon Snow, which could mean that in the next series of Snow, the rebellion that occurs could be because of Varys. If the theory is that the Three-Eyed Raven who manipulated everything that happens in the series, and it is the voice that spoke to the fire wizards through the flames. This means that the voice Varys heard that day was really the three-eyed raven. The same one that allowed all this to happen to Varys so that later he would be the one to cause Daenerys' downfall and thus the raven would end up as king. Perhaps Varys, although incredibly intelligent, was never able to take into account the supernatural influences in his head. Another important point about Varys is that he was the one who influenced the Mad King's mind to doubt even his own son. This led many to think that Varys was really seeking some kind of revenge against the Targaryens and was pretending to be a good advisor but his goal, like other maesters in Westeros, was to take all power away from the Targaryens and get rid of magic forever. But Varys' story is not over yet because in the books this character is still alive and his story could end in a different way. Even in the Jon Snow series, the details of where Varys sent his letters to, and what his plan was, could be revealed. Unfortunately, Varys is one of the characters that was not given much utility in the last season of Game of Thrones, as they were supposed to summarize everything that happened, but he is one that took with him great mysteries. In my opinion, Varys was just another pawn of the Lord of Light, and I think the clues that his purpose was to facilitate Bran's ascent to the throne, seem to be obvious. Tell me what you think about this theory. What was Varys' purpose? Do you think the Three-Eyed Raven has manipulated everything? If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven Tricaris.